What's up guys? Today a review on a Harley Benton Goto. It has the tuners down here and then it has the Tesla pickups which will measure the output of both the bridge and the neck. It has the Goto um, saddle and bridge. Uh, the switch, you know, it, it isn't the greatest but I'm going to say this. Thursday night I ordered this. It's now Wednesday. It was here this morning. Four days. Sweetwater is put to shame by Tolman. From Germany to here in four days. And Sweetwater, I'm supposed to be two-day delivery. And it takes them fucking four days. The other thing I'm going to put to shame is Gibson and Epiphone. Garbage. Overpriced garbage. $499.99 for an SG. They could stick it up their ass. This thing came in. It was slightly flat. I'm talking D sharp from E over. The other thing is uh, I was very doubtful with you know people saying theirs came almost in tune. They're not lying. The other thing is the intonation was slightly off. The uh, pickup height on at least the rear was spot on on the low E and on the high E it was off of 64th. The um, bridge, they had that at 6 60 fourths opposed to uh, 5 60 fourths. So the setup, I have no complaints. I haven't plugged it in yet. So let's uh, test the pickups on this one and then we'll get to the other guitar. Okay, so um, we're going to be on the bridge pickup. We got it plugged in here. We're going to use uh, the resistance test. And I've measured in and out of circuit with pickups. And there's a lot of people saying, oh, you got to do it out, you know, side of circuit. No, they're very, very close. The other thing I want to say is this is a B stock. Now, I haven't seen anything other than maybe this little tiny nick right there. This is not um, inset. It's a little sticker. That's it. Uh, the other thing is it was $167 B stock and I'll show you the sticker to show you I'm not lying about that but let's take a look at the resistance on this so bridge pickup that's 866 we'll move to the neck seven thirty four middle so that's both pickups combined and you are looking at four point oh two the other thing about this pink it, it's really not shell shell pink I mean uh, I could see a little scuff here so but anyway about the color it's more like kind of a an off white than a pink so I really didn't know how it was going to be and then uh, the headstock binding up here it looks like it's just a full headstock piece mounted over the actual uh, neck itself so let's get a shot of that B stock so here's the box it came in one big box and you can see this is the other guitar it's a DC 580 left hand where this is the right hand and uh, there it is right there so that's the shell pink one B stock and here is the 580 that's a B stock as well so anyway that wall right there is spice delight it's like an off-white and just to give you some uh, perspective of what the guitar pink looks like that's what it looks like against like a, an off-white. All right, so this is the second guitar, another B-stock guitar. It was $99. Now, the only thing I can find wrong, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up. There's a little scuff here, which I'm going to polish out with some Meguiar's. And then over here, there is a white scuff there. Other than that, everything looked to be good. This one, the strings were much more out of tune. I had to set the neck relief. Um, it does come with a graphite nut. It has the uh, nice inlay. The tuners aren't as good. The other thing I did notice about this one too that's worth mentioning is the tuners 
are not exactly uh, put on. Not a big deal. I did want the DC Custom, but unfortunately they don't make a left hand in that, so I had to settle for the CH580. It's not a big deal. Uh, definitely at $99, uh, opposed to Epiphone's $499.99, plus, you know, the tax and then Sweetwater's slow-ass shipping, uh, especially since they hooked up with UPS and USPS handoff. That sucks. Um, it's nowhere near as skewed as the ESP Viper and that shitty uh, racer one on Amazon. So uh, it does have a bit of a skewed look. But when you're holding it and you're playing it, nobody's going to be able to tell. Um, so maybe three quarters of an inch they shaved off of it. The contour is nice. Uh, had to adjust the pickup height on this one and then the intonation was on except for the E and the A just uh, sharp so we had to bring those back uh, we're gonna measure the pickups the fretboard was dry on this one so I really uh, treated that and let's move on to testing out the pickups on this alright so bridge pickup and uh, let's see what this measures out So we got 9.25 on the bridge. And we got 9.63 on the neck. And both pickups are 4.73. I wanted to show you guys uh, this stuff here, that Meguiar's uh, scratch remover, that took that stuff right out and then over here it took that scuff out so you can't see that no more okay so for the length on the headstock we're not gonna get into you know thousands of an inch here but it's about 39 and a half on this one we got about 13 going left to right at the bottom about 9 in the center and about 11 from here to here. We'll measure the other one and we'll take a look at the case I got. Okay, so the two of them side by side we have the headstocks about equal and then you can see this one here is uh, slightly shorter so about 39 and a half over here and this one if we come across I'm gonna say about 38 maybe 38 and 3 eighths and then with the button about 39 this one with the button like I said about 39 and a half for body wise 13 about 8 and 3 quarter and about 10 and a half maybe 10 and a quarter for the upper so I picked this case up used it's a uh, TKL and I got it for like 40 bucks, 39 something. And they won $159.99. I would never pay that. It's just, you know, molded plastic. You got your three uh, hinges. But we'll get some measurements on this. All right, so that's what she looks like inside. You have uh, two storage compartments and then the back. And you got little straps there. And the hinges are pop riveted on. And I know I saw one on Amazon, uh, they wanted $48.99, but again, it's coming from China, and the motherfuckers, they want like 46 something to ship it, so you're not really getting a good deal. So, from the bottom to where the neck gets supported is like 18 and a half. And then, if we measure the neck pocket, you got about 12 inches there. And then, uh, from where the headstock will be, you got eight and three quarters there. So let's set each guitar in and take a look at it. All right, so that's the shell pink one. And this is, you know, touching down here and you got oh, probably a good inch of space here. So, you know, you can uh, put some padding at the other end or, well, this... Yeah, you could probably put some padding here, too, if you wanted to. As far as the headstock touching the bottom, now nah, you could get, you know, a fingertip under here with this one. 
Okay, so the red one, the DC 580, you can see is a bit longer. The button is touching here, and then over here on the headstock, it just fits. Now, anybody out there that has an Epiphone, this case will not fit unless you really kind of push this part in. A regular Gibson SG, I've already tried it, and it fits just like this one does. So uh, if you have an Epiphone SG, you're going to have to you know, push back on this padding. And if you want the uh, shell pink one, you're going to have to put some kind of padding to build it out. The other thing I want to mention is, seen a lot of people on eBay and Reverb. Don't be buying these from them. It's just worth it to buy it from Toman. You're, you're not saving that much. The used market is shit. I mean, for this, in a right hand, somebody wanted it, and there is a company on Reverb as well. They're uh, skunk something, whatever, and they use, you know, music nomad or music whatever the hell kind of tools. And they make it sound like they're giving you such a good fucking deal. And all they're doing is setting the guitar up just like I did. And the only difference is you're paying $271 and change and shipping. So you're well over $300 fucking dollars and you're getting the same. You could buy two guitars for the price of what they're you know, selling it for on reverb. On eBay, the same thing with these freaking uh, people in the US. They're selling them overpriced and it doesn't make sense to buy their junk because you could buy two guitars for the price of one. And shipping, if you buy one guitar from Toman, it's 88 something to ship it. And if you buy two, it's 88 to ship it. So why, why, why pay these assholes that are selling you shit? Don't make sense. Even the uh, Epiphone SGs and shit like that. You know, they're asking 375 450 this and that. There's no sense. Use your brains. Okay, so I made a mistake. $154.99 was for the shell pink. $91.88 was for the uh, red one. So uh, there you go. There it is right in front of your face. Think before you buy because you're getting ripped off from these US sellers. And if you're worried about like, um, you know, duty tax, anything under 800 as of uh, February 2024 is, uh, you know, not taxable. So you're not gonna pay any duty tax. So I, I can only speak for the US. I can't speak for Canada because uh, they're kind of jokes up there with their shit too. And the US is not far behind them.